Up next on Live It Up, we have representatives from the Helen Keller Services for the Blind. With us now are Kim, Gina, and Lewis. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Oh, so nice to see you guys. So we met through the community. Uh, we were out one day, and you were telling me about uh, the organization, and I was so moved and touched and inspired. So tell us a little bit about Helen Keller Services for the Blind. Well, um, I'm an employment counselor, which means that I work with our consumers to get them ready for employment. Um, but before I go into that, I would love for Luis and, and Gina uh, to tell a little bit about their journey and what inspires us to, to do our work. Okay, an employer and an employee, yes. right? Yes. So tell us about that uh, relationship. Do you want to start, Gina? Sure. Okay. Well, I'm an employer, um, and we, as an employer, you look for candidates with the best qualities to fit a position. Um, and through my relationship with Kim and Helen Keller Services for the Blind, um, I was introduced to and met with Lewis, who had all the qualifications and skills that we needed to fill a position in our company. And uh, it's been a win-win. Um, you know, Lewis has been successful. Helen Keller prepares, um, works with us and prepares the office or any needs they may have. Um, and it's, it's seamless and it's been wonderful. Lewis has been with us for two years. He works in our financial department. Um, I think maybe I'll let Lewis tell yeah, a little bit. Yeah, tell me about your journey. Tell me about how you got involved with this organization and how, how great it felt to get that job. Yes, of okay. course. Um, I started with um, going to Helen Keller because I had a visual impairment. And um, through Kim and services, they offered mobility and um, adaptive computer technology that I use now at my job. Um, I started uh, first, I you know graduated from school, met with Gina, first interview, second interview, and I was hired. And, <laughs> and it was just a very seamless process and it was crazy. It was just a really, really good experience. And through the services I received from Helen Keller, I just feel like they prepared me for success. And I thank you to Gina for hiring me. Yeah. See, I think what Gina did, does and continues to do, and I hope other employers listening will, will get it because she gets it, is she demystified the, uh, the apprehensions that anybody might have hiring someone with low vision. And the biggest compliment she does give me is that when she has an opening in her organization, she will call me and I will send her a resume. And what she knows is that when that resume is sitting there, that the hard work has been done before that. And the hard work is the, the vocational landscape that, that we paint for our consumers long before they get there. Mm -hmm. Because the soft skills, on paper, everyone's got the same hard skills. It, it, it's, a, it's a roll of the dice. But it's the soft skills that speaks to sustainability, longevity, keeps low turnover, mm -hmm. all music to employees' ears, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And that's what makes a, a good employee, not just a qualified candidate. And, and, and there's a big difference. And it's a great opportunity for employers, you know, to be in a position, I'm in a position to hire. So that's being in a position to give opportunity to someone, you know, um, and that is a beautiful thing, you know, um, to, to change someone's quality of life if you can, why not? So it's been a win-win. It really has. And Lewis, I know you give a lot to them as well, right? So tell us about, from your perspective, like what your give is, how, how that teamwork, because it, it really is a team mm -hmm. that you put together. So. Yeah, um, before Helen Keller, it was very hard because I knew I had a visual impairment, but I was like, who's going to want to hire me? I want to work. I was young. I wanted to work. And, you know, Kim was like, you have the skills. And... Sure enough, you know, she gave my resume to Gina. I was like, she'll probably look at it, see I have a visual impairment, and not want to hire me. But um, with meeting with Gina and all my coworkers in the office, I knew, you know, the job would be challenging. But throughout time, you know, one step at a time, and I take it day by day that I work, and here I am today, you know, That's successfully wonderful. employed. You're, and you're equally qualified. So what it does is it... it, it, it equalizes the playing right, fields, exactly. like you said, so, so that you can, you know, you can have gainful employment and mm -hmm. you can have mm -hmm. great things happen mm -hmm. in your yeah. life. What do you like most about the work atmosphere uh, from your company's perspective? Is it fun being where you guys are? It sounds like it must be. So. I'll say it's yeah. fun. We okay. have fun. Okay, we good. do. We <laughs> have a lot of fun. <laughs> Which is good for financial people, you know, because sometimes <laughs> financial people are all like buttoned up or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. We but do. it's we fun. Have a, a very good balance. Good. 
Very Correct. nice. Yes, yeah, very good balance between, you know, fun and professional. Yeah. And, and I that's think, the case. I think one of the things, too, that I, it was important for me just to get out because we're all aging. And um, believe it or not, <laughs> we're aging. So because we're aging, we want to work longer, we have to work longer. And there's specific visual issues that may come up. When you, when you get older. So one of the things that I love to do, my favorite thing to do, is go in and, and do an analysis and suggest the accommodations to make sure that person can work as long as is mutually beneficial and not because they have a visual impairment that, that prevents that. So that's, uh, it, it's joyful to listen to Luis and stories like Luis's. <laughs> it makes me really happy. So when I knew we were coming on, I said, I got, I got to go with him because it's just been, it's just been a wonderful journey. And what is the age range of, of uh, you call them, is it clients? Consumers. Yes. Consumers that you, you can help. You're welcome. Well, we start really young. Okay. Um, we, we start pre-vocationally when they're tweens. And we, we really, in fact, you came and met some of our I teenagers. I did. I loved nice that day. And nice enough to inspire them and, and really did inspire them. Thank you Thank so much you for that. Welcome. And um, we work with them very much on, on all of the hard skills and the soft skills. So the accommodations are in place, the, the soft skills are in place, and they can hit the ground running. So it, it, it's a journey, but look, <laughs> we, we, get, we get to this. So it, it's a beautiful thing. I have another question too. What about retraining someone? Let's say someone is already out in the field, okay, mm -hmm. and then they have a visual impairment at a later stage in life. Mm -hmm. um, can you also work with that population? Yes, that's, okay. that's like I said, one of my favorite things to do because mm -hmm. um, the adaptive equipment is amazing and nobody can really understand what it was unless they experience it. I think Gene is amazed all the time, but it works. It works. And if, if given the opportunity to show an employer that, I can guarantee it's going to be a seamless, the, the vision is a non-issue. Everybody comes with something, and we make so sure true. everyone comes with something. <laughs> so a good attitude is a must, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And and we don't mind so. <laughs> wanting to work. You yes. know, a lot, a lot of people, they want a job, but they don't really want to work. So there's a big, yes. there's a big difference between the two, and um, most of the consumers, we, you know, are very grateful, and, and so they, they have a great work ethic. And, and how could people reach out to you? How could people get involved if they're uh, either, you know, a potential employee or an employer? What okay. would be the best Well, there's step? a website. We'd okay. We'd love for you to go on. Okay. And uh, get in touch with me, and, and I'll be able to come talk to you and show us and, and show us what we can do for you. And we have qualified, qualified people that would uh, be a great fit. Excellent. Absolutely. Well, I thank you very much for joining us. I wish you all the best in your career. Thank you. Um, good choice on your part. Oh, yeah. And uh, Kim, yes. all that you guys do is just so fantastic. Thank you. So Thanks thank so much. You. You're thank welcome. You. Thanks. Please thank you. stay tuned for more on Live It Up. We have been visiting with our dear friends from the Helen Keller Services for the Blind. Stay tuned. Thank you.